Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix messages not sending over on Slack. So when you're basically trying to type a message and you just can't send that message, then in this video I have found a few ways in order to fix this. I'm currently on the browser version but if you're using the desktop version over of Slack it will be completely the same and you will still be able to follow all of these steps basically. So fix number one, what we're going to do is click on those three little dots right here and then click on uh, account settings right here. Basically once you've done that, go ahead over to the left side of your screen and click on settings and permissions. And once you're right here, scroll down till you find file history and all those kind of things. What we're going to do is we're going to click on file history, going to click on expand and we don't want to keep all of our files. If we do, then this basically means that our entire Slack app just keeps on building more and more storage and that's not what we want basically. So just where I would just recommend making sure to enable keep files for 90 days only and clicking on save, clicking on confirm and you should be good to go. All right, now so for the second thing, if it's basically still not working off, you've done that, what you can do is we were just at settings and permissions. What we're going to do is click on analytics and we basically want to make sure that we have enough storage over on our Slack app. If we have five gigabytes out of the five gigabytes used, then this could cause issues with you not being able to send files, receive files, but also not being able to send messages. So basically just keep that in mind. It's really important that you have at least one gigabyte left or maybe like 100 MB MBs left over on the Slack storage basically. All right, so now once you've checked that and it's still not working, now what you can basically do is try to see if maybe the Slack app is down. Sometimes this happens when the Slack app is down and this could cause issues with nothing working within the app. And to check this, go to downdetector.com slash status slash Slack and then you will simply be able to see if Slack is down. We can currently see no crazy spikes right here, meaning that Slack is most likely not down. And yeah, that's basically a really easy way to basically see if the Slack app is down. So now if that still did not fix your issue, then what we can simply try and do is clearing the cache over on the Slack app. Now it's going to be a little bit different if you're using the uh, normal Slack app. So if you're using the desktop Slack app version basically, then what you can simply do is go to the top left, it will say help and then you will be able to click on uh, clear cache basically. So you can do it within the app. However, if you're using the browser version, then what we need to do is simply clear the cache of, on, of our browser basically because there's no clear cache button within the app. So to do this, go to the top right, three dots, click on settings. Once you're right here, click on, uh, let me quickly find it, pr privacy and security, clear browsing data, make sure that time range is set to all time and then simply click on clear data and basically once you've done that you are good to go and you can now see if maybe that fixed your issue and like you said if you if, I, if you're using the desktop version you can simply do it within the app now if it's still not working then what you can do is try to update the slack app you can just do this basically by updating the app by going to the top left again and then you will find an update app button now because we're on the browser version this is not possible and basically if you're using the browser version the app will automatically update it every time there is a new update basically. So yeah if you're using the browser version you should already be good to go but if you're using the desktop version make sure you're not basically using a really outdated version. And yeah, that's basically what you can do to try to see if it's now working. However, if it's still not working, then what you can simply try and do is reinstalling the entire Slack app. Already again, if you're using the browser version, this is not possible. What you can do, however, is just completely force quit the entire Slack app and then just simply trying to reopen it to see if maybe that already fixes your issue. If you're using the desktop version, you can just reinstall it back again and then download it again from either the App Store or just simply using browser in order to re-download it again. And yeah, that maybe fixes your issue as well. Now, if it still did not fix your issue from then, for the last thing I have for you basically is making sure that you have a proper Wi-Fi connection. If you don't have a proper Wi-Fi connection, then this basically means that you will not be able to use Slack because Slack does require Wi-Fi. So yeah, it's really important that you have a proper Wi-Fi connection. And basically that's all I have for you right now. So let me know down in the comments below if some of those fixes fix it for you. If they did, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel. And that being said, I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.